I got a question for you. Does Sketchable have a selection tool? Let me tell you something about Sketchable. Yes, there is a selection tool and it's available for us to edit our work. Let's take a look at it. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. Today I'm going to walk you through the selection tool and Sketchable app. Let's get started by opening our Sketchable app, available on all Windows 10 devices from the Microsoft Store. So here we are in an amazing drawing that I've been working on. And today we're going to explore the selection tools. However, you remember that we have a ton of tools down here in the bottom, right? And on the left hand side is where we have our transform tool. And right below that is our selection tools. There are several selection tools to choose from, including the marquee tool, the elliptical marquee, the lasso tool, and of course the magic wand. So let's start with the magic wand. As soon as you select any of these tools here, we get some options up here on the top that allow us to make edits to the selection once we select something. So let's go ahead and say, I wanna select a little bit of this uh, pink reddish that I have on this marker. So I, by using the magic wand, I just go ahead and click, boom. And it grabs a lot of the color outside of the color that I really wanted. So by holding down the tool, I am able to change the settings of what this tool is going to do once I use it. So let's go ahead and take the tolerance. Oh, let's take it down. Let's go down. And because I have the first icon selected, by clicking again, it will change the selection that it has for me that I, when I, once I tap on a specific color. If I choose the second icon, then that means when I click somewhere in the color, it will add to the selection that I already have. If I use the third icon, then that means that once I make a selection inside of the selection that I already have, it will get rid of some of the selection. And as you can see, there's still some fragments left behind right here. The last one, the, th uh, the fourth one says, the selection that I select is gonna only keep the, the end parts of the selection that intersect. So let's go ahead, there you go. I did click and drag the cross and now only this selection is left. Okay, so we're gonna try the intersection. So when I click and drag, oh no, it's just gonna automatically, uh, oh well, well, because I'm using the magic wand, it's gonna act a little different than if I used the lasso tool. So let's go ahead and do the lasso tool and boom, everything that's inside uh, stays selected. Ah, nice, let's see if I can remove. Boom, oh yeah, this works awesome. I want to add to that selection, look at that. Boom, there we go. I want to make a new selection. Let's go ahead and make a new selection. Ah, <laughs> I knew I was going to get it. I was going to get it. I was trying to draw with the other tool, but the magic wand is really set for selecting colors that you already have um, in the drawing or selecting areas, maybe open areas. Uh -huh. Let's go here, new, boom, there it is. Look at that, see, nice, I like that. Um, but let's go ahead and grab our lasso tool. So if I want a new selection, I can just go like this. If I want to add to that selection, I can go over any other area and it will add to that selection. And if I want to remove a part of that selection, then I can just go like that. There it is, it took away some of those pieces right there. Yep, yep, yep. Bring it down, come on. Mm -hmm. There we go, slowly. Bam, I remove. But now, what if I just want to keep the areas that intersect? So go like this. Bam, and now only that area that intersects is set. Let me try a different tool. So we have our marquee tool. And then let's go with that. <laughs> so any part that's, that uh, that uh, is outside of the intersection then that's what that is right there. XOR, I don't know why would you call it XOR, but that's cool, cool, cool. Then outside, let's go ahead outside. Look at that. <laughs> it's crazy. And I think that by using a combination of these 
uh, selection tools that you'll get the shape that you're looking for. As for me, I am all about the lasso tool. That's what I am about. Let me go ahead and deselect. And I see a clipboard there, so we're gonna try that out in a second. But let's say I wanna change this pink, or I only wanna edit what's inside this, this selection. Bam, so now I can grab a color. Yep, let's make it green. And let's make sure it's kind of large. There we go, boom, 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 and let's do this, see? Now it only colors in the areas that I have selected. If I wanna really make it clean, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and get the remove and then tighten up the areas that I don't want the color to be affected. There it is, uh, let's clean it up a little bit more. Huh? Nice. Now I go ahead and get my brush and boom, look at that. I changed the color in the area of the layer that I wanted to change and it's only changing the areas that I have selected. So what if I, let me go back a little bit. What if I want the clipboard here? I want it, ooh, copy. Boom, 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 deselect. Check this out. Ah, yes. I think this is what I, um, uh, oh yeah, let's go here. Let's go here, file, paste. <gasps> There it is, and look at that. Hit OK, and check this out. That is in its own layer. What? And I can click on this uh, transform tool, and there it is. I have a copy of the area that I selected, and it's right there for me to do whatever I want. So theoretically, let's say, let's go to another, um, let's turn that off, and let's go to, the line layer, yep, the lines. That's the lines, why do I feel like there's two lines? Oh yeah, there's two. Let me see, turn that off. So this is the, the dark one and this is the lighter one. Okay, cool, let's go here. So let's say I wanna, I, I because this layer, line layer has all those lines in it together, I want a copy of this paintbrush and only um, the line work of this paintbrush. So now I got my layer selected. I go ahead and grab my lasso tool and go boom. All right, clipboard, copy, clipboard, paste. Um, let's go ahead and move it. Oh, it's right there, look, look, look. <laughs> Hit okay, bam, deselect. And now I have an exact copy of the area I selected. This is cool. Whoa. Whoa. And if I wanted to use the lasso tool to start drawing in colors, let's go here. Oops, come on, let's go new. Boom. There it is, but I need that in a different layer. I don't wanna color in the same layer that I have my line work. That's just me, that's, that's just how I do. Boom, 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 there it is, and look. There, colored in, next. It's kinda almost like uh, drawing with Illustrator, you're making shapes. Went outside the lines, but I'm okay. Let's go with that. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Yes, 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 yes. New, come on. Here we go. Of course, you know, when I'm drawing for myself, I will take more time to do this right. Here we go. Boom, boom. Let's add a little bit extra here. There you go. And now I get my brush. <laughs> this is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. I hope that today's insights are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please share, like, and subscribe for more Sketchable Insights. Until next time.